Even though the clouds briefly hang over the sky Friday morning, the sun soon appeared and rescued the day in the RBC Heritage Golf Tournament at Hilton Head, South Carolina. Good thing, too. Heritage spectators crowded the Harbor Town Golf Links, dressed for spring and sunshine. Here are 32 of the best heritage outfits on Friday. Take notes, you might just be inspired. Taylor Lemmick is a local, so she knows how to dress for heritage, a light, flowy romper never fails. Help us deliver journalism that makes a difference in our community. Our journalism takes a lot of time, effort, and hard work to produce. If you read and enjoy our journalism, please consider subscribing today. Taylor Lemmick is a local, so she knows how to dress for heritage, a light, flowy romper never fails. College of Charleston students Jayla Hutchinson, L, and Jacqueline Dunn arrived in matching flopping hats, a perfect accessory for since Hutchinson is a local while Dunn is from Massachusetts, Hutchinson happily gave her friend advice on how to dress for heritage, cute but comfortable. Michelle Duffy poses in a Lily Pulitzer dress. My husband gets me something from Lily every Mother's Day, she said. Renee Pierre felt too hot Thursday, so on Friday she decided to wear an off-the-shoulder top and shorts. She added a special accessory to her outfit that made it stand out above the rest, body glitter on her shoulders. For Stevie White, heritage is all about being fashionable and practice. This two-piece coordinated set looks like a romper, but White doesn't have disrobe every time she uses the ladies' room. Loretta Bland poses in her luminous pink Lily Pulitzer pants. Claire Mallory, L, and Jordan Chapman travel to Hilton Head from Alabama. Mallory and Chapman take fashion at the tournament very seriously. They usually change their outfits five times before heading out onto the golf course, they said. Christine Snell got help from her husband when she picked out this off-the-shoulder top, the pineapples were perfect for heritage, he told her. Ashley Campbell paired her Lily Pulitzer skirt in cacophonous pink with a more simple white top for a look with balance. From left, Shannon Hirsch, Sandra Burton and Kathy Waldrop all wear very different styles, but all very appropriate for heritage. I'm usually a dark color wearer, but I tried to branch out, said Courtney Marine. This maxi dress was the perfect compromise, Marine got her bright colored flowers, but she didn't have to sacrifice her staple black style. Lillian Sumner, on the other hand, has no problem wearing bright colors. Since Heritage is after Easter, many Heritage spectators embrace the white in their wardrobe. Angie Lander is one of those people, plus, I don't have a tan yet, so I thought long sleeves were a good idea, she said. Merit Seger also pulled the white pants from her closet for the tournament, bearing it with a paisley top. This is Melinda Gunder's first heritage, so she dressed in the safe but classic white pants pastel top combination as well. Helen Brown isn't afraid of bright colors with this green and blue dress. Gingham is in this season, and that's just fine with Tracy Lesage.
I only wear dresses, and I really like 1950s style, she said, explaining her outfit. Finally, this group of friends from Atlanta know there's no heritage staple like Lily Pulitzer. From left, Natalie Biss, Kaylee King, Tansy Shuniver, Kelsey Thompson, Lindsay Elliott, Marissa Weeks, Haley Zugel, Alex Whipple, Taylor Turner, Francesca Rocca, Carly Zugel. Check back tomorrow for Saturday's Best Outfits, and follow along in real time on Twitter here. <laughs>